Big Boys Neighborhood. Ooh. Let me tell you straight off, man. It is a pleasure to have this man in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Veteran, relevant at the same damn time. And there was just an announcement also, bro, that I cannot wait till we fast forward. And we're going to talk about that as well. We got Usher in the neighborhood. Usher, welcome back to the neighborhood. Good to be. What's up, bro? Man, what's going on with you, Usher? All bull aside, man. It is a pleasure to see you and talk to you, my man. For real. To be seen. And you know we can hear you, right? I just want to let you know that. Is that is that the queen there with you? Uh, y- yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It happens. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it happens. And also, man, just real quick, congratulations to you too, Usher. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Here. Come here. Come that here. Is- come here. No, hi. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but you guys are expecting, man. You and the queen. So so that's beautiful, bro. You 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 ready for to create and just have another life and gotta have someone figure out why everybody coming up to daddy again. Yeah, man, you know, just when I thought, you know, it was, I'm like, okay, we're doing it again. Here we go. Hey, you know it's, what it is, too, Usher? Yeah, the, bless, the blessings don't stop. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been hoping for a little girl. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, you can probably give me some pointers, you know what I'm Right, saying? right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Any pointers I give you now may be a little bit too late. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if we come out with another boy, then I've got to give you pointers again. You know what I'm saying? But just off off of everything, you know, you probably want to aim to the left just a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Usher, real quick, man, you're going to be at our 2020 iHeartRadio Music Festival this year, man. Yeah. And when we announced this, you know, we're going a little more virtual this year. But when we first announced it and we knew that you were coming aboard, I think it was before the pandemic because... I was in a position where I've seen you perform many times, but it's never been enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How does Usher feel about doing everything again, bro? You know, we're going to talk about new music, but also just getting on stage. And and that's kind of where you live, bro. How how good is that for you? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, a duty because you're trying yeah. to figure out how to make sure you accommodate everybody and everything, you know, right. there's the hit records and then there's the story that you want to tell. There right. is, you know, the B sides, there is the guest appearances, all of those things that you got to think about. And, you know, for me, I'm just trying my hardest to tell an immersive, an immersive story that can kind of walk you through the inspiration of the records. Mm-hmm. And also to give you maybe something that you didn't see or maybe something you missed or something that you've been missing. You know what I'm hey, saying? Usher, but you've been working on, you've been working on music. You've been working on, on the album. How close is Usher to giving us a new Usher album? Days away from releasing a record. I'll really? Okay, yeah. but if we're talking days away from releasing a record. A record, not an entire album. But, but a I, record. I've been releasing songs here and there. That yeah, so we got Bad Habits right now. You got it. Okay. 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 So with Bad Habits, are we days away from an album coming, or are we just going to get through Bad Habits, and then it probably may be something else? We're going to chop them down one at a time. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I can't tell you when it's going to be finished, but I, I'll tell you that I'm done with it. Hey, man, now, Usher, you've been – giving us so much insight in your life. You know, you're taking us to the clubs, you're taking us through relationships, you're taking us through wins and heartbreaks and so on and so forth. Now, when I hear bad habits, that seems like that's another one. If it's not for Usher, it's for us. It's for something, you know what I'm saying? And when, when I hear that I keep making, I keep messing up my, uh, my love life. Yeah. Is that Usher or is, do we insert ourselves into those lines? I think, hey man, look a hit dog a holler. If you felt it, then it was so really <laughs> hey, hey, Usher, I say, I say the same thing, man. If I threw a rock over a wall and the only dog that's gonna bark out is the dog that got hit. So the hit dog hollers, man. What about the new the new, the new album without hearing it, man? Do we get those those Usher, those layers again, man? The the, the same thing that grew that made us love Usher from the giddy up. If I could be transparent with you, because I always just tell you the truth, the hardest part is actually reliving all of it as I listen yeah. back and try and find the kind of the through line that that helps people to be able to connect to it, but also to helps me tell my story of this arrival at this place that I'm at right now. And I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. Praise God. And I didn't just get here, you know, without having to go through anything, right. but that journey, 
and being able to explain that journey and find that peace, it starts with this honesty, being able to look yourself in the mirror. So where I'm starting in the story is from a place of honesty. You know, I love love, I'm just bad at it. You know, and these bad habits, you know, you know, they just, they won't escape me because I'm not making the choice. And until I do, will I then begin to start that journey? So I'm taking people back through it, starting with bad habits, bringing you all the way up until the release of the album. Don't have the name yet. Right. There's been a lot of names thrown around. There's been a lot of conversation in between these last two years of making it. And uh, I will say that working with my core team of producers that I work with my entire career has been a, a great thing. So all of the things that you're asking for, when you say, yo, we're gonna get like that, that real connection that is honest and also too we can relate to, yeah, you're gonna get all of that and then some. Um, but bringing you up to this current moment, which I couldn't be more happier. And sometimes in hindsight, you're able to really appreciate all of your life's experiences when you can just say, you know what? I went through all of what I went through in order to be in this better place. And if I can help somebody else through it, then I will. I know it helped me. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's the beginning of it. Bad habits is just the beginning. Hey Amen. Usher, is it different to release music now? Is there a hesitation when it comes to social media because at one point all you had to worry about was a critic or a magazine now everybody got these devices you know what i'm saying everybody everybody's negative on these devices bro that's the first thing that come out is negativity believe is it, it believe it or not things don't stick as long as we think they do right and these devices have made um life not as relevant from moment to moment you're yeah. talking about something one day and then tomorrow you're talking about something else. So people don't hold on to things as long. You know what I will say? I'll say that I find the positive in everything that happens in, in life. So mm -hmm. it's just more access. And, you know, it, we live in a time where negative becomes positive. The more people talk, the more people talk. So, right. and I think that more than anything, people are, are hurting. So they're attracted to what they are. <laughs> so if you're trading that, if you're giving that energy back and forth to each other, it's something that that you got to deal with. Yeah, yeah, but you don't you don't let that affect the the music or the person. You know it is affected in a positive way. Is if right. it has affected uh, the music in a positive way and have given me, it's given me a perspective to be able to write from. How have you been holding up since the this whole pandemic, bro? Have you, is it work time or have you had it? It don't look like you put on a quarantine 15, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How you been holding up? Man, I've been good, man. Yeah. I've actually, ha I put on about 15 and took off. <laughs> oh, okay, there it is there. That's, okay, that's why you look like that. All right, <laughs> go ahead now. He, he put on 15, took off 20. Can't say nothing about him, you know what I'm saying? But you've been holding up okay, man. Man, I've been really good, really healthy. Had a chance to uh, spend some time with my mom, my family, my loved yeah. ones. Went back to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Man, I went on a road trip with my girl. We got closer. You know, uh, we went out. You showing the hell did, huh? Hello. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, we went through Yosemite Park, man, and had this amazing time. And I ain't posted no kind of photos or nothing like that. But yeah. that was probably by far one of the greatest experiences. Man, if you ever get a chance, right, when you are, you got free time, you got your hiatus, Yo, get in the car with your girl and just drive and go somewhere. Look at this beautiful country. Yeah, man. Yeah. To be able to drive and talk to your partner and get to know them better and just be able to connect. And also, too, just see the world around you. Otherwise, you're looking at it through a filter. You're looking at it through other people's filters. But go out there and experience it. Something amazing happens when you get away from the regimen of every day. Just getting up, going to work, or getting up, doing what you got to do, or getting up, being fed by social media and looking at yeah. it. No, you got to get out, disconnect for a minute, man. Does that, does that help you as a person and creatively? It does. It yeah. does. It helps me emotionally, helps me creatively find new ideas, to really think through ideas, to, you know, come up with new strategies of how to approach things, because you're not dealing with real people in different settings. Going from, you know, L.A. all the way up to Yosemite, do I met so many different people. <laughs> You know, I had I had conversations with Trump supporters. I had conversations with Biden supporters. I had conversations with people who were just trying to figure out how to manage life in this time. You know, businesses that are going under and they got to figure out how to survive. And it's like, man, you just you just get this this connectivity by just being able to disconnect from your norm. You know? Yeah. Hey, Usher, with with everything that is kind of going on, 
yeah. in the world. You do you do need that release, man. And sometimes music is that release, and music just takes you to another place. You know what I'm saying? And so when I heard that, you know, you see that there's new music coming, and there can never be to me another Usher. Who's the next Usher? When I hear verses, and no disrespect to any verses names that come up, bro, there is no verses that I could say I want to see Usher verses. Like, there's just some people that I don't want to see in verses. Like, I don't want to see Dr. Dre in verses. You know what I'm saying? People say you and Chris Brown. I don't want to see you, and I don't think I want to see Chris, but I definitely don't want to see you, and I don't want to see y'all together. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if something's going on, but now I see that it is it, it, it is a celebration. But music takes you away from that, you know? And you've been hit up. Have you been hit up to do any of the verses? Uh, there have been some conversation, but yeah. man. Don't do it. it it's, it's our love to enjoy it, you know? And I, I've been able to sit back and just look at the, you know, the, the fact that where people may have forgotten about music and how special it was, yeah. that's the positive. And, and yeah, the invasion versus so what um Swiss and also to Timberland have been able to do is reinvigorate careers in a way of relevance. Their music will always yeah. be relevant, all of the artists, but you know, just to be able to celebrate with them and celebrate them, whoever's on that platform is good, man. And that's it, yeah. No, yeah, and I, I just saw the ladies do it, man, with Monica and Brandy record breaking numbers, and that put me also usher right back into the catalogs. You know what I'm saying? It puts you right back into the catalogs, man. And music has always been that release. It's, it's been that it's been that getaway. Not for just the person that records and the, and the person that make the music for us. You know what I'm saying? But us as consumers yeah. making the music. And I've built some great memories around Usher. Usher albums, Usher experiences, Usher concerts. Uh, I, I was in Puerto Rico with you, you know what I'm saying? And just great moments. Usher in the neighborhood doing karaoke at 6.30 in the morning with no tea, no coffee, no hot water, and going all the way live with every record that we put on. And I think that we kind of miss that. You know, yeah. R&B, if it, if it is R&B, it's taking a different turn. You know, we're not celebrating as much as we used to as far as the women and relationships and so on and so forth. So when you get someone, that's an usher because we put everything on y'all back. You know what I'm saying? We, we put everything on your back. Are you ready for what we are demanding and what we are missing? Brother, I can only do my part. It's really left up to the people who support music and who have been supporting these artists for many years. Whether you're a new artist or you're you know, a classic legendary artist or an artist who just found their creative way to a hit record, whatever it is, all of it really comes back to you. So right. what we choose to listen to, what we choose to celebrate, what we choose to dance to, what we choose to feel is really up to all of us. Um, but I'm going to do my part because I love yeah. you. I love what it does for people. I love what it's meant to me. And no matter how far I've gone, how many kids I have, how many years I've been in this thing, it always brings me back to my childhood. It brings me back to the most authentic piece of myself. No matter how many movies I do or TV shows or TV, what doesn't matter. Music is my base. It is mm -hmm. the thing that grounds me and the thing that connects me to all of my fans and all of the people who have helped me tell this story. So, um, no, I don't know. I'm not going to take on too much pressure. I'm going to do my part. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate each and every person who has their interpretation, even though there's new music. It's really up to all of us. The reason, you know, that I'm celebrating, as I said, you know, the platform that is, you know, versus is that it just reminded people. It didn't go anywhere. Yeah. It's been right, right. You just haven't listened to it in some time. So go listen. Go, go take the time to find, like, go listen to those playlists and find new gems or old gems. And, yeah. and remind yourself of what it felt like when you heard it the first time or you think back to the videos you think back to you know that moment in your life for every experience that you have in your life there is a song to go with it rather good or bad there is a song to go with it hey usher do you are you putting yourself right now man like I, when i hear usher you perform well you know you dance well you sing well you know, you hit your vocals. I just saw pieces of Good Morning America. You know what I'm saying? Like, how important is that for you to continue to show up 
and show out. Man, you know, I was just talking to uh, Iz and Ross, uh, Isabella, and, and we were talking about the importance of what the music is. And we did that very deliberately, like saying acapella just to remind you of the feeling. It has nothing to do with anything else other than the song, the words, and it reconnected people in a way. So, um, you know, I, I just, for me, man, as long as I have the ability to sing, I'm going to continue to do it. I'm going to offer what I can. And it's really up to you to enjoy it. I got new music coming. I got new visuals coming. I'm going to do my part. Yeah. Do yours. Got to do mine, man. Now, Usher in the neighborhood, man. Big Boys neighborhood. We back up in here with Usher. Usher, 2021. Yeah. Las Vegas residency. Boy, oh boy. Usher, let me tell you, bro. It's going down, bro. Yo, you ain't know it is. Bro. I know. You just a short flight. It's a short I walk. No, man. It's a short walk. Let's go. Usher, let me tell you, bro. When my queen brought that to me, and when I saw that it was official, I was like, because I'm telling you, man, I can watch an Usher concert, a show. I can watch it every day. I already know that I'm going to be at the residency, and I know I'm not going once. You know what I'm saying? I love that you found a spot that you could call home and we can continue to get there and see Usher. When does that residency start and where where is home plate for the Usher residence? Home plate is the Coliseum at Caesars? Um, Dallas, yes. Oh the first show will be in July next year. Yes. So it's the 10th. So you gotta get them now. Um but man look I have tried my hardest throughout this time to find like benchmark moments. Mm -hmm. I went to I went to Broadway, you know what I'm saying? I acted in a movie. I ain't won an Oscar yet. I'm trying to work on it. But I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> I ain't won a tone yet, but I'm working on it. So this is a benchmark for me, man, but it's a celebration of music, life, and all of the moments. So I'm I'm gonna try and bring all of that experience. I'm gonna go back to my early, early days. I'm gonna play B-sides. I can't even tell you all of what it is. I'm still even working, working through the creative, but I put it on sale and I want people to know that I'm putting my all into creating. Oh, no. I think it's gonna be a once in a lifetime experience and it starts in July. Y'all don't wanna miss it next year. You know, in a time where, you know, arenas are closed, stadiums are closed, you know, theaters are closed. This is something to look forward to. Yeah, man. Experience that I think is is perfect for where we just where we are. Like when I know I can't travel all over the world. I know I can't go, you know, downtown and perform at the arena. This is this is a that lifetime experience. And it gave me the ability to do things that I normally wouldn't have been able to do because of where it is and how much detail I'm putting into making this show. Hey, man, and let me tell you, the residency that you're doing, just knowing what you do live, yeah. like, I already know i got to buy my ticket. You know what I'm saying? I'm not waiting. I'm not hoping. I'm not, what is it going to be? Let some other people go first? Like, not at all, bro. Now, that vaccine ain't talking about, I'll let other people go first. You know what I'm saying? But this damn Usher residency, I ain't letting nobody go first, bro. Like, when you announced that, that was so perfect, man. And we've seen some of the greatest that locked down and do these shows, man. You know what I'm saying? And everybody can't do it. I feel and, to be able to do it, man. Yeah, and I know, and I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna do it right, bro. I know you're gonna do it right. The the state of R and B right now, Usher. What do you feel about the so called state of R and B? The state of R and B has never been in question as long as you can go back and listen to the classics or listen to the new classics. You got to find what it is that's relevant to you. You know, as much as we may analyze where music is, we all have a responsibility, and that's one person at a time. What you choose to listen to is based off of how you live your life and where you are. Um, you know, I think that there is a certain aspect that, you know, might, may, might need to be evaluated. You know what I'm saying? Live performance is very important. Vocal ability is very important. And, you know, we don't have that the standard of what it is that I guess I was raised under. I don't know if we have the same, you know, those same outlets. I went through the chitlin circuit, bro. Like I had to, there was none of the things that we had, the techniques, it was just raw. Right. So that created the entertainer that I am now 
20 years later. Yeah. So if you look forward 20 years later from the artists that are putting out music now, who knows what they're going to be? They're going to evolve. They're going to go through things. They're going to find themselves. But I think that, you know, music in itself, R&B music in itself, um, it's not as strong, I guess, as it's been in the past. You know, in the 90s, it was super duper heavy. You know, 2000, the beginning, it was super heavy. But then hip hop began to really, really take over influence. I was a part of it. I think we all were part of it. But I think there's something special, unique about R&B music that cannot be duplicated. And I think that, you know, we got to go, maybe we need to take a little step back and listen to those earlier songs and be inspired by those. Um, I say I'm fortunate to be an inspiration. You know, yeah, hell yeah. I'm still inspired by the earlier R&B records and R&B artists as well. Hey, Usher, do you ever feel unappreciated? Uh, I appreciate myself. That's all the right. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that, that's, a safe, that's a safe answer. But the question, the reason why I ask the question is I think we tend to forget easy, easy, because they move on to the next thing and they actually find something new. But when you think about the artist who have really, really bared their soul and offered things that were amazing, you know, are they going to continue to do the same thing in the same way? No, they move and they evolve into other areas, but that don't make them less relevant. Michael Jackson, Prince, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, my, all of them, Luther Vandross are just as important as they were the first time I heard them. And every time I play their music, it takes me back to the most important thing that I felt, which was, right. I want to do that. Yeah. I want to sound like that. I want to be that great. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I love about it too, man? We talking about like the past and the road, you know, and we looking at the the, the rear view mirror, but yeah. there's also so much ahead in the front windshield. And yeah. that's what I'm waiting on from Usher. Like you already, we looked in the rear view mirror and we know what's back there, but the windshield is what I'm waiting on, man, with bad habits, with the album, with the residency, you know what I'm saying? Like, like those are the things that I'm waiting on. And I'm telling you, Usher, that's why when you got on today, I just started smiling because I'm waiting for what I know you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm waiting for it, man. And I wish you nothing. I just feel, I just feel fortunate, bro, to be yeah. able to have all of my classics and be able to create new ones, man. You know? Yeah, man. And that residency going to be a mother. You're going you gonna to really look out in the audience. You're going to be like, big, you here again? I'll be like, hell yeah, I'm here again. <laughs> I remember one time, man, I was at a show and I had to work the next morning. And you looked at me, I was in, I was like, had to be in the front row or something. And you was like, Big, you ready to go home yet? And I was like, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, no, nah, keep going. And we got a chance to see you. You're going to be at our iHeartRadio Music Festival. Yeah. What do you have planned for the iHeartRadio Music Festival 2020? We're doing a little, with a little twist, but we got Usher. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, I'm, I'm playing my classics. Yes, sir. Um, you know, you know, I just, it's, it's a, it's a different thing, right? So there's like this live connection where all the fans will be able to watch while we're performing. So it'll be my first time really doing it in that way. Everything else right. has been like recorded, you know, we put it together and then we service it. Now, this is gonna be kind of like that live direct connection with the fans so that they can react the same way they are with the NBA. No. And so I'm like- I, I love they told you that because they ain't told us nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So thank you for giving us the exclusive on, on how the uh, iHeartRadio Music Festival is going to Hey, look, by the way, I don't even know that it's definitely going to be like that. I just know uh, that you will have some connection to your fans. So I'm like, how does that work? And they're like, right. well, it's iHeart. It, it's going to work. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely going to work. You know what I'm saying? Either that or they're going to come up with a cure for the pandemic to get people there. You know, it's definitely iHeart. But Usher, I want to thank you, bro. I want to thank you for your time. I can't wait to see what's, you know, what's on that next page and the page after and the page after and what the chapter look like because we know we're close to a book. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Absolutely. Continue to write the story, bro. Thank you very much, bro. Hey, listen, one last thing, too. I got to tell you that one of my favorite pastimes, and you've heard this from many other people, artists, and is phone tap. Yo, bro, me and my son, we love the phone tap. That, that's our moment. You know what I'm saying? Amen. I told you this before. I, but you know what, bro? You get people that come up to you and say, hey, man, this song. This brought us back, and you don't you don't listen to it like, oh yeah, I've heard that before. Every time somebody say it, it's special. Yeah. So when somebody talk about like a phone tap or meeting me or this, this all that is special, bro. And for you and your son to have that moment, and I'm not even there, 
Yeah. And you you know what I'm saying? That's special. It's so important for, for dads to be able to have those those connecting moments with their sons or kids, period. But yeah. man, we get such joy out of <laughs> the phone tap, bro. We just die laughing, man. Hey, Usher, let me tell you, I found a new lady that's <laughs> about to be like the star. I found her. She answered the phone. Every time I call her, she has been answering this phone. I haven't played some of the newest ones yet. <laughs> I'm going to send them to you, bro. For Yo, the, the one where you had to come wash clothes at her house. Is that her? No, no, there's another lady, but she's on that same thing. She's almost like the long endeavity lady, where yeah. she's like, yeah, you know, long endeavity. She's like that. I found her. She's gonna be my new gym on phone taps, and I'm gonna send it to you, bro. I'm gonna send it to you. And I'm on the same number. Get at me so I can so I can uh so I can get it to you. But I thank you, bro. I thank you for this conversation. I'll see you at the iHeartRadio Music Festival this year as well. I'll see you in Vegas next year. You know what I'm saying? And, and thank you for thank you for checking in with us, Usher. Always keep it funky with the neighborhood, bro. Always. There it is, man. And then whenever you need some new dance steps, I you know I got you covered. Ain't going everything unhealed up, man. So so I'm ready to get it. That's Usher in the neighborhood. Y'all stick around, y'all radios, big boys neighborhood.